I'm not sure anything would have stopped Patrick from becoming a very successful person. At an early age, uh, we could see that whatever he participated in, he always did it in a way that he would maximize his success. He's a very strongly driven, high achieving mentality. Patrick had gone out of high school right into the Marines, served for four years, accumulated 70 hours of credit at two different universities while he was in the Marines, and had planned to transfer to the University of Illinois right upon leaving the Marines. Unfortunately, U of I felt he was short some credits, so he used College of DuPage as his source. He once told me that in all of the college that he received, his best instructors were here. I recall having uh, Patrick as a type of student in my class that came in prepared, energized, wanting to ask questions at the second and third tier, uh, maybe staying after class and uh, discussing a little further something we had done in class. An instructor loves to have uh, one, two, three of those types of students in any class because they happen to be the dynamic that lifts the whole class upward. Out of all the um, doctors that I have trained, which and graduated about 250 or so, you know, Patrick just stands out as one that wanted to do, always do his very best to become a great emergency medicine physician. He was meticulous, conscientious. He always pushed to do better and get other people to do better and do things for the training program to make it better. He links the College of DuPage as one of the key places that helped thrust him forward in his, in his whole professional life. He now refers to his undergraduate learning at College of DuPage as the best experience he'd had in college outside of medical school. Through the course of all of the years that my son has been a participant in whatever event that he is engaged in, Marine Corps, then he came back came to COD, then he went on to U of I, graduated with honors, then he went to med school, graduated number two, and then five year in his residency, out of 72 residents, he was number one. So I've been given opportunity to be very proud of him on numerous occasions, and this is just one more that I can add to the list.